How's it guys? Ishi here from Blades and Triggers. Today we're going to have a look at the Heidi Blacksmith 2 from Best Day. Right guys, let's get into the unboxing. So in front of us we have the Best Tech Heidi Blacksmith inside this box. Let's see the box, nothing fancy. Has the Best Tech logo on it here, simply the best. Has their Instagram handle and their Facebook handle as well. And then just a little bit of the YouTube. I see that's blurry here. And then just the code on here. So it says Heidi Blacksmith 2. And then the code, the BKF04B. All right. Let's have a look and see what's inside the box. All right. Let's open up that box there. All right. On the inside, very simple. It has a little warranty card. A warranty card. Just has a little bit of information on here. Best Tech Knives, simply the best again. There's their social media handles at the bottom. And then just a little bit about the knife itself. And so the introduction, the maintenance, and then just some info about before storing the knife. And then we have the knife in the box. So it's nice. It comes with a little bit of silica gel that's to keep out the moisture. And then we have the knife nicely kept inside the cutout. A little cushion here, some sponge, and the knife is kept in its sheath. Right. Let's have a look and check out the knife. Right, guys, let's get into it. So, in order for us to discuss the Heidi Blacksmith 2, we have to also have a look at the Heidi Blacksmith 1. So, looking at it, if you look at them in the size comparison, you can see there is a big difference in the size from the Heidi Blacksmith 1 versus the 2, and these are both in their sheaths. So let's have a look at the sheaths. So this is normal, they didn't change anything. Tidex sheath, we can see. This is the 1, and then this is the 2. So let's see how hard it is to take this out. Quite simple, easy to take it out. And from the get go, you can see the big size difference in both of them. So this is the 1, and this is the 2. So what they did was they really, really upgraded the size. Looking at both of them here, you can see it's a remarkable size difference between the one and the two. What they've also done, if you look at the handles, look at the handles here, you can see this one has a lanyard hole. This is more refined and smooth, and this is more rugged. So this is both carbon fiber, it's just that on the two versus the one, See the smooth finish on here, and then the two is more textured. So that would give you a lot more grip. If you look at the one as well, if you look at this, you can see they have mosaic pins in it. And the one, uh, sorry, the two, you can see instead of pins, you've got these screws or these studs to keep it together so you could basically take it apart and then replace it um, with a different scale which will have some DIY that you need to do but yeah that's what you can do on that and if you're looking at the blade finishes you can see this does come in a satin finish the one that I've got is the coated one or the black finish and then the grinds are completely different as well so you're looking at this here this is a if you look at the blade, it's just a single profile that's on it. And then this has more of a compound grind on the two. Again, the size difference in the blade a lot more pronounced. If you're looking at the size of the blade, overall this is 21 centimeters. And the blade is basically roughly the same length as the handle. So you're looking at about 10 centimeters in the blade. And then if you look at the steel, this one is a D2 steel. And then the two... They've now upgraded the steel to S35VN steel. Again, the size of it, again, a rather large blade compared to the one. It's got a nice jumping on the back here as well. See that there? The jumping, some grip. What they've changed also on it, if you look here, you can see the lanyard hole, very pronounced. Big hole at the back and a lanyard. Here, it's at the back. It's at the bottom of the knife, it's just a little slot there that they've put in so you can add a lanyard. So can take a lanyard, just uh, not as 
pronounced as the one. There's a nice solid blade, good grip on it, big compared to my hands. So good for EDC. The Kydex sheet that it comes with, the same as the one, does not come with any paracord for attachments. So the other thing I've noticed is both of these have this little hole on here. On the Kydex sheet. All right, so in case solid molded Kydex sheet to fit the blade nice and snug. And then as I was mentioning, there's no la no lanyard, no lanyard, sorry, no uh, paracord that comes with it or no permanent clip. So that basically allows you to put on whatever you want to in order to either carry it vertical or horizontal carry. I was saying the blade complex compound grind drop on drop point blade solid fit it's something that you can edc and then the other finish that we do have here is the micata i like the micata look versus the carbon fiber it's just both would give you an equal amount of grip but for me personally i would Go for the micata, just more rugged look and a rugged feel to it and gives you a nice solid grip. There we have it. The Heidi Blacksmith 2. Something I would, not a real big uh, fixed blade fan, but something I would uh, recommend to EDC. And there we have it. As always, if you like what you see, click on the link below to purchase online. Or pop into any one of our 15 stores nationwide. Don't forget to register for our BNT Elite program. Click on the notification icon above to keep in touch.